Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, the president returned to Washington and he and his staff got to work on the business of 2011. It's January 1st to the 6th, or resolutions. On Tuesday, January 4th, the first family touched down on the South Lawn after spending the holidays outside of Washington. President Obama immediately got to work on the business of the nation, signing 35 bills into law, including the Food Safety and Modernization Act, giving the Food and Drug Administration important new tools to keep consumers safe. The president also took some time the previous Saturday, January 1st, to wish Americans a happy new year and outline what he thinks can be done this year to strengthen our economy. We are, however, riding a few months of economic news that suggests our recovery is gaining traction. And our most important task now is to keep that recovery going. As president, that's my commitment to you, to do everything I can to make sure our economy is growing, creating jobs, and strengthening our middle class. That's my resolution for the coming year. Other West Wing staff had some New Year's resolutions, so we thought we would take a quick lap around the West Wing to share them with you. We started in the upper press office and talked to members of the White House communications team. Happy New Year. I'm Robert Gibbs, the White House press secretary. Uh, my New Year's resolutions are the same as they have been for the last five years. Uh, eat healthier, exercise more, and drink more water. We'll see if it works in 2011. Hi, I'm Marissa Hopkins. I work in the upper press office. This year I'm getting married, so my New Year's resolution is to get back to the gym and on the treadmill. I'm Lauren Thorbjornson, and I'm also in upper press, and I sit here next to the other Lauren. My New Year's resolution this year is to read 30 books. It's a carryover from last year, and I didn't quite make it. I'm also vowing to wake up earlier and snooze less. We then checked in with Deputy Chief of Staff Mona Sutphin and her assistant, Alejandra Campoverde. Hi, my name is Mona Sutphin, and my New Year's resolution is to eat more healthfully, to exercise more, and to try to get more sleep and restful sleep. One of my New Year's resolutions is to stop chewing my cuticles and fingernails. It is a terrible nervous habit that I constantly do for years, and this year I practically chewed my fingers off. So I need to find some way, I don't know if it's to put something disgusting on my fingers or something that tastes bad, but I need to stop doing it. And I'm completely convinced that this is going to be the year. David Axelrod's assistant, Eric Lesser, is likewise on a mission of self-improvement. Okay. Right, my New Year's resolution is to try some yoga. Upstairs, on the second floor of the West Wing, we spoke to senior advisor Valerie Jarrett. My resolution is the same resolution that millions of Americans have every year. I'm going to get fit, I'm going to eat healthy, I'm going to take care of myself, because I know if I do that in the course of the day, uh, I'll be better at work, I'll be better at play. And so every morning, I'm going to set my alarm for 5 o'clock. I'm not going to push the snooze alarm, which I tend to do. I'm going to get up and I'm going to get on that treadmill. And that's my resolution. And hopefully uh, within the next three months, people will see a difference. In the outer Oval Office, Brian, Katie, and Reggie have plans of their own. My name is Brian Mosteller, and this year's resolution is to cook more, to save money, and to eat healthier. My name's Katie Johnson, and my New Year's resolution is to use less plastic water bottles. I end up with a ton of them on my desk all, every day, and so for Christmas, I bought myself a new water bottle so that I will use this downstairs and fill it up and not generate as many, much plastic waste. Happy New Year, guys. I'm Reggie Love, and I'm here to tell you all about my New Year's resolution, which is pretty simple, yet kind of difficult. I'm gonna be a better brother to my brother Richard, and a better son to my parents, Richard and Lynette. I'm not gonna forget the birthdays. I'm gonna call them on Mother's Day and Father's Day, maybe even Memorial Day. But good luck with you and yours. And finally, in the lower press office, we met Antoinette Rangel, who just started working at the White House this week. Hi, I'm Antoinette Rangel, and I'm the new press assistant. And my New Year's resolution is to uh, find time to volunteer, even though I have a crazy busy new job. To find out more information on any of these topics or to see complete videos of these events, go to whitehouse.gov. And thanks again for checking out your West Wing Week. If anyone sees me biting my nails on the street, you tell me to stop, you slap my hand and tell me to stop, that my resolution needs to hold. <laughs>